like the matches on this show um i think the three-way was about what i expected maybe not even as good probably slightly not as good as i expected the the dusty classic finish the the women's match was probably a little bit better than i expected um but this match was i expected a great match but this match was better i mean like dunn and balor was exactly what i expected it to be um the the msk match that match was freaking phenomenal they were they were great what a what a you know debut so to speak i mean it wasn't their debut but this tournament's their debut and what a freaking great debut what a i i loved that match too that match was um you know msk just looked so good it's maybe um i mean it's one of the two best matches i've ever seen them in and the other one was with the young bucks and but they were better in this match than they were in the match with the young bucks and i i remember the match with the young bucks um afterwards because i went to um wesley although his name now is or his name then was not wesley um but um i go like man that's the best match i've ever seen of you and he goes well it's all due to the young bucks those guys are unbelievable like they they made us look good in this match um well there were guys, no young bucks available in this match in in this match nobody made them look good i mean and the grizzled young veterans were, were they were there in the right place they're really good james drake is a hell of a worker he really is he's a hell of a worker and and gibson is as well but um these guys were so much better um than i've ever seen them um if this is like a portend of things to come with them what a freaking great team they that these guys have got um you know they should be so they'll be going against only Lorcan and Danny Birch and they absolutely should win the championships I mean I don't care if it's they don't have to win it the first time but they absolutely should win because you know there's so much more when you when you get right down to it they're they blow them away for charisma they blow them away for excitement even though only Lorcan and Danny Birch are very good workers um, but but these guys from a Mar you know marketing and potential and everything like that they're well above only Lorcan and Danny Birch so they should be um they should be tag team champions and soon yeah this match was awesome and uh, yeah best MSK for sure has ever looked in NXT they were outstanding in this match grizzled young they were, they were, were they were great though they were great the whole tournament the match with um Mendoza and Joaquin Wild was good the, their first round match was good but this match was a way different level this match was phenomenal i mean they really pulled out they pulled out all the stops and everything hit perfect like this was like one of those matches where um and i and i think the grizzled young veterans are, are a big part of it because they were they were always in the right place for everything and that that helps out a lot when you got guys doing all these crazy things but every crazy thing hit like it wasn't like they were because sometimes when you do a million crazy things, you know, you you know, some of them don't look so great. I mean, almost inherently you're going to have that. And that didn't happen here. It was like just everything clicked. Well, it was not only that, but the the women's Dusty Classic. I mean, I really enjoyed the match, but I mean, I noticed a, and many other a, people noticed it, that the thing with that match was the psychology was just completely backwards. It was half the time you had Raquel running wild. As a, but this one here, this was... A traditional professional wrestling match with state-of-the-art high spots. The heat segment in the middle with the grizzled young vets beating on him was great. And when this dude finally made that hot tag to Wes Lee, this place just came unglued for that hot tag. And once but he had only, the hot they only, tag... They, 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 only gave him, they only gave him about 90 seconds. He was incredible, and then they beat him down. But then they went to the finish pretty quick after that. They, they did all their high spots there at the end. The finish was somewhat abrupt because they did do like a million high spots. And then the finish was there's beating on on uh, Carter forever, and then Wesley just comes back. They hit a double super kick. They hit their finish and they win. So it did sort of but, come but, out but, of but nowhere. It's, it's, but it's 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 their finish. It is their finish. But given what had been done in the match, it was an abrupt finish to this match. So it was awesome. The right team won. Great match, and that's it. They had a huge celebration, by the way, afterwards. Way bigger than the women got. So. And get some blowback about that one. This was not Who equality. Cares? Not Who? equality in the in the confetti celebration. It, it was it wasn't. But um, you know the women's match were heels winning, and this was baby faces winning that they're trying to do something with. And um, and they uh, you know I mean 
they they those guys should be stars i mean i know you know it's like making stars isn't the easiest thing in the world these days but this was a star making performance for those guys i mean it just actually can like, be if you do it right the problem is they don't do it well right. not on it that it's, makes it's, it but on a takeover on a takeover so few people are watching so it's kind of hard you know it's like you can do it and then you know like push how great it was on television on wednesday and show clips and all that and and you know but not that many people are watching on wednesday so even that's difficult but but it's better to do it that way um i mean the, the one the one thing with these matches is i mean the thing was is is when every match is fantastic i'm not complaining about it but when you go on tv wednesday and you go oh this match is fantastic and this match is fantastic and this match is fantastic it's kind of like they were but people are going to kind of go like uh you know tickled pro wrestling bullshit unless they watch the show themselves um but i think that this match because um kushida and johnny gargano i mean the weird part of kushida and johnny gargano is is that when it was over like johnny gargano to me was like a total baby face um not that kushida was a heel at all but johnny gargano was they were both baby faces when it was over with um balor and pete dunn i think i got the similar vibe um you know but you know they they ended the show with the big angle with the undisputed era splitting up but um but in this match the tag match was the one where the grizzly young veterans job in this match was to make an msk it was not like they were there to have a good match yes but it was not a match where you know it was like it was very clear that this match was for msk and so on wednesday you know it's like the whole thing should be they should be just you know touting msk and and if anything that's the match they should really be focusing on because gargano's already over and finn balor's already over you know i mean they're, they're already stars on the nxt level i mean it's not like you're going to make them bigger stars but msk is new and god knows that that wwe and and nxt as well need new people to freshen up and these are those new guys so they're the ones like come wednesday that they should just be the announcer should be just talking about and that they should be the focal point of everything you know i mean as far as they're going for the championship and um they had this incredible match and when you show the highlights i mean look some of those highlights are just going to be incredible anyway that dive by um wesley over the top was just freaking like that's ricochet level great and then the um that i love that spot where the they where um carter nash carter is that his name i i it's going to take me a little while. Yes, to Nash get Carter, yes. Yeah, it's going to take me a little while, probably not that long, to get used to the new names because I know them as Des and Wentz, Desmond Xavier and Zachary Wentz. Which, um, so when they do that spot where Wentz goes up for the moonsault and um, Wentz, where Nash Carter goes up for the moonsault and um, Wesley pushes him like over a couple of feet and he lands perfectly, like that's a really cool spot and, and, and it's hit every time. Um, so, you know, they have that and then all the top rope moves. And what was the one where um, that freaking doomsday thing, the doomsday device on the floor, that looks scary as hell. I, I can't pay into a doomsday device. Yeah. So, yeah, it's it's um, J so so be Gibson had um, was it um, which one did he have on his shoulders? It was um, Carter um, Nash Carter, right on his shoulders. And then James Drake does the tope into a clothesline while the guy's elevates on the guy's shoulder. So it's essentially a, a tope into a doomsday device. He takes the whole flip dive onto the floor. Oh, my God. That was that was incredible. I mean, and that wasn't, you know, the match. This was the match that was filled with incredible moves like like um, Kushida and um, Johnny Gargano was like a great technical wrestling match. And Pete Dunne and, and Balor was also a great technical wrestling match. But there was no. Like, oh, my God, blow my mind spots. They were just really good, really good technical wrestling. This match was like, blow your mind, great spots. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts, and also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows 
at your fingertips.